Hi, Karen Lovely here, and I have an in real life testimonial from Extraordinary Daniel, who did just one podcast session. He just happened to text me and said, you're not going to believe this story of what's happened. So that said, hi, Daniel. Oh, my God. I need to hear the amazing, incredible, mind-blowing story. Yo, hello, Karen. Thank you for the introduction. Yes. So, love to tell the story. So, we had, you know, our first podcast session where I learned so much. Um, and the biggest thing I got out of the session, you know, just finding um, that love for myself, no matter what, yeah. right? No matter how much money I have, no matter, you know, if my parents care about me or not, it doesn't matter. Right. And anyway, so, so, the crazy thing, okay, so here's the story, okay? So, yeah. two years ago, uh, when I moved to Austin for school, for college, I got a job as a freshman at college at a Wendy's on campus. Hmm. And, you know, at this, you know, during this time, you know, I was like not confident in myself at all. You know, I was skinny. You know, I had just gotten out of a bad relationship where like one of my girlfriends had cheated on me, you know, so different things were happening hmm. at that time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and so then you know, I started going on this journey of self development. And then, you know, two years passed, pretty much almost two years passed. And then, you know, I meet Karen mm-hmm. um, through through uh, Joe, who, who met you through Chris. Right. You know? and, so, and so, you know, we talked a lot, and you just helped me so much just from the first conversation we had. And then, you know, eventually got into a podcast uh, session mm-hmm. recently. Mm-hmm. And so, crazy thing. Okay, so this actually happened last Friday, I believe, or Thursday, so how many days was that? That's like two days ago, three days ago? Right. Um, yeah, so three days ago, yeah. I walk into that exact same Wendy's. I was just I was just on campus doing some business work. I was just hungry, and I was like, I want some food, and so, you know, I'm just going to go to this Wendy's, right? And so I, went to this, I go to this Wendy's, go online, order my food, and when I'm at the register, I see my old boss. Her name was Emma, such a great such a great woman. She We had a good relationship while I was working there. Hmm. Um, but she saw me and she said, she said, Hey, Daniel, how you doing? I haven't seen you since a long time. And I was like, yeah, you know, a long time. we'll see. And then she said, you know, what are you up to now? And then I told her I own a marketing company. You know, I, I help market different restaurants, you know, um, and I told her specifically, I work specifically with restaurants and she said, she was, and she became interested. She was like, Oh, it, really? What do you do for restaurants? And I told her, you know, so I told her, you know, the different things that I do with social media for restaurants. And then, so, and then she told me, she said, she said, wow, you know what? We could really use help here at, for, with the social media because we actually work with someone local, but he hasn't been doing a good job for us. And I told her, well, since you're Wendy's, it's, it's probably against your rules because, you know, Wendy's is a franchise, mm-hmm. and, you know, because it's part of the big corporation loop. It has its own marketing firm that helps right mm-hmm. and she told me she told me actually no because since, since this wendy's is on campus it's actually separated from the the corporate wendy's so they have different wow. a different marketing structure yeah <gasps> and so she said and she, so she so she told me that a local person was actually doing their marketing and i was like i was just at that moment i was just like what <laughs> like i didn't know what's going on <laughs> like i was just astonished at that point um, because, oh my God. Uh, because, because uh, what I, honestly, what I thought at that moment was like, honestly, I just worked at this Wendy's cause I needed money. But now then I was thinking, I was like, you know, what if the universe actually meant for me to work here? You know, what if it was like the plan Ooh. all along, you know, I was just thinking different things. Right. Uh-huh. And, so, and then she told me, and then she told me, um, so you need to, she told me to call the district director. Uh-huh. And, uh, so she gave me the number of the district director. And so I, I reached out to her, sent her a message, but I'm actually gonna uh, get gonna call her uh, this week uh, to talk about marketing for that Wendy's. And so it's it's so oh crazy, like I, I'm just so astonished. And then on top of that, actually, um, one of I, I actually have gotten uh, two other referrals. Um, from people since since the podcast uh, well actually I, I got one referral before the podcast but after the podcast I immediately got one another referral you know I just got a random text message out of nowhere and they said hey so and so recommended me about you told me about you about your social media services I'm interested uh, can we talk more and so yeah so that happened to me after the podcast but then this, this, this Wendy's thing just blew my mind you know like <laughs> right Right, because that is like, do, 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 like, right. whoa, that is so like, dude, cosmic. And and, and I, this is where that whole um, Earl Nightingale quote comes in, 
is whatever's happening subconsciously, and I say unconsciously, right? If we're uh-huh. blocked subconsciously, you know, right. we're yet on our own way and we don't even know, which lends into the wheel of insanity. But right. Earl Nightingale says, this is just the rephrase of the quote, is where we mm-hmm. put our thoughts and feelings is right. what becomes reality. But if it's, do you right. understand if it's subconscious, we don't even know we're putting our thoughts and feelings there. Right, exactly, because it's subconscious, right? Yes. So when our session, we dealt with what was happening below the surface of the conscious mind, the subconscious and right. unconscious mind, yes? Yes, which, we sure did. Yeah, which gave you so much insight and, and breakthroughs, breakthroughs, mm-hmm. you know, and then the universe opens up, brains pick up the vibration of other brains, and bam, you know, and now I just remember the text. Remember after that session, you said you had that one big meeting. Oh, yes, yes. Uh-huh. And yes. you want to say it? You tell them. You, you know, yeah, you say so, it. Yeah. So, so, so what happened was after our podcast, which was on a Saturday, I believe. Yep. I had, I had a, actually a sales meeting that same Monday, um, right after that Saturday, right? And so yes. I listened to the podcast, re listened to it. And Karen, I just want to say thank you so much for just doing, you know, putting in the effort to, to upload it before Monday. You know, it was so huge. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, so I listened to it on the ride to the meeting and when I went to the meeting, I'm telling you, that was a, the toughest sales meeting I've ever done because there were five people just questioning me, asking me so many questions and just five different people just looking at me and give me questions, expecting good answers. And I completely nailed that meeting. I <gasps> nailed it so much. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so we're actually, I'm actually going to have a second meeting with just me and the owner this time. Um, just me and the decision maker. Because mm-hmm. it was a decision maker, and then there was another other top people. And I think this restaurant actually has a couple of locations. Yeah. And so I'm assuming that's why they have so many people. Um, yes. So we're, I'm actually going to be with just the owner, just me and the owner, uh, this time around, uh, this week. Should be this week, if not this week, next week. Uh, we have a second meeting, and I'm excited for that. I'm ready for that. Okay. And uh, yeah. Wait, hang on. We've got to make sure we're fully acknowledging you and the situation in your text, uh-huh. and I quote you said yes. you did not stutter once yes like, so let's talk about I the difference not. right because now it sounds uh-huh. like okay that's just too good to be true like wh- how did this podcast and the coaching impact uh-huh. you to nail this the most difficult meeting in front of what five people yes five people and yes. you did not stutter and in the podcast we uh-huh. talked about stuttering was really yes. symptomatic of yes. worry fear and and doubting yourself exactly. Lack of self confidence. Yes. Okay, so go ahead. What? So, so, yeah. so the main thing. So the podcast just helped. Honestly, it just helps so much. Even I don't know. I just see it in so many different ways that I could tell you even more about it. Honestly, how it have, how it has helped me mm-hmm. this far. But what I learned from the podcast was that, um, you know, long story short, the reason why I struggled at sales meetings with confidence is because you know I took I took the rejection so personally. Yeah. Yeah, I took I took the I took the no as you know if they said no that means that you know I took it way back into thinking that I'm not worthy enough. Um, I took it way back to thinking that I'm not good enough. So whenever they said no, so it was just like a long chain, and it led to the point where like if they said no, then that means I'm not worthy that I don't care for myself. And so after that podcast, Karen, where you you told me it doesn't matter how much money we have, it doesn't matter if. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about anything as long as we care about ourselves. As long as I love myself, it doesn't matter how much money I have. It doesn't matter how many women I have. It doesn't matter if my mom loves me. As long as I love myself, or your dad, yeah. it was really yeah, my dad. If your yeah. dad was in your life or not in your life, right? Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, and so, coming in with that mentality, just just thinking to myself, and I literally told myself before this meeting what you told me to say, Karen. You told me to say before the meeting, um, you said. If they say no, it's completely fine. It doesn't dictate whether or not I'm worthy or not. It doesn't matter what they say. At the end of the day, I'm going to be self-worthy. I'm going to love myself. And that's that's how I walked into the meeting. Oh, wow. And that, yeah, and that, and that really just made me did make, boost in my confidence and just made me feel a lot better about myself, more confident in myself. And that's what led me to not stuttering and actually answering the question. It was it got it got really heated because there's one girl I guess 
who was, you know, she was like, I guess she was kind of like doubting me. Yeah. Uh, and so it got really heated with her, just with her. And so I was able to, you know, just be respectful and just present my claim strongly with facts, data. And it was just, I was just, it was just oh, such overall great, great meeting. Oh my God. I love yeah. this. And again, uh-huh. the work works. The technology works. Okay, but let's yes. look. If you had not had that podcast session, it is predictable what, right. what you know, we know what worked in retrospect yep. without that session. It would have been the same. Yeah. That would have been the same thing that happened every other time, right? Yeah. Stuttering, you know, once they, once they started having objections, you know, I would like start folding up, you know, start going back into my show, shaking. And that, that's probably what would have happened, you know? Yeah. You would have been nervous. You would have been yep. second guessing yourself. You would yep. have been attached to needing to prove your worth. Yep, exactly. Right, mm-hmm. and and to the results, and then that's what would trigger you taking it personally. But because you were so brilliant to have the session and then assimilate and implement what I taught yes. you, and then go back mm-hmm. and listen to it like I told yes. you to, mm-hmm. right before yes. the meeting. Yes. Which is what all athletes do. You know, they put on their headset and they listen to their stuff, whatever's on there, to get them in the zone, mm-hmm. you know? You were in the right. zone. And then, wow. like, pow, pow, especially this particular woman, she was really um, testing you. Yes, she was. Uh-huh. She was testing me, yes. And you were cool, calm, collected. Yes. And, and confident, yeah? And then, boom, yes. in your clarity and in your confidence, you were able to just freely... Show the data. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Exactly. Which got yep. like five people, most difficult meeting. Yes. And then you got a call back. In show business, you're like in acting. You got a call back. Yes. You're like, what? And the, and the crazy thing is, is that one of the ladies who was there, she, she had texted me. She said, she said, I really want you here. I'm going to keep, she told me, I'm going to keep telling the owner. I'm going to keep reminding him to to keep meeting with you, to, to set up another meeting with you, to keep talking to you. That's what, literally, that's what she told me, one of the ladies who was there. Oh, my God. The same meeting. Yeah, she was like, I really, uh, she said, I really want you to help us. I know you could really help us, so I'm going to keep t- talking to the owner. And he said he's going to, he said he, we're going to schedule a meeting uh, sometime this week mm-hmm. or next week. Mm-hmm. And so it's just crazy how, like, the way she said it, you know, in person, and, you know, she texted me the same thing, too, and so it's just, it's just so crazy. I love wait, wait, it. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, I, I, I know, this is why I'm so obsessed with this stuff, because you're just like, what, that's not even possible, and he's like, yeah, it is possible, not even right. possible in my reality right now, and you're like, exactly. you know, I'm like dreaming uh-huh. in real life, so wait, are you saying, exactly. is it the same woman that was asking all the questions and testing no. you? Okay, different no, woman. actually a different woman. Yeah. Different woman. yeah. But you were able to nail it, and you overcame every one of that, uh, those objections yes. from that one yes. specific, we'll say, woman who was testing you, so to speak. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. So we just want to connect the dots of the, see, you already have an amazing personality. We already knew that coming in. That was before the podcast. Yes? Right. Yes. But the reason why I do this work and you were calling for expertise and guidance Mm -hmm. is because we had to look for what you couldn't see, which was not obvious at all as to why you were losing your confidence in the meetings and becoming nervous and then second guessing yourself and everyone picks up on that energy and then Mm -hmm. you're not getting called back and you're not getting the business. Right. Right. That's Mm -hmm. what made the difference. And I will say, right. oh, I had so many obvious talents in my careers, but it was when I realized what was hidden, mm-hmm. not in my view, blind to me, yes, and subconscious right. and mostly unconscious fear and insecurities yep. based on childhood and wounds that related yep. directly to my parents like it did with yours. It was a direct correlation to your father. So everyone right. has to go back and listen to that podcast. It's so worth it. And then this 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 yes. will make sense. It's testimonial. See? Yes. Right? And mm-hmm. then in you really taking that in and really being so wise, you know, yep. you you remembered everything and bam, and that's what ends up happening. And then you get this whole Wendy's thing. 
Yes. Right? On top of that. Yeah. Yeah. And it just keeps, <laughs> is your list like, oh my God. So now we're into, you know, maintenance and sustainability. We want to keep the magic alive. You know, we yes. want this to be all the time. Truth be told, yep. I want to yep. live in this and have this be my new normal. Right. Right? Yeah. So congratulations. Mm-hmm. I mean, just you saying I didn't stutter once is massive, massive. Yeah. Right? Breakthrough. Yes. Huge. Huge. But in your text, you never even mentioned that you had five people listening and that you were completely oh, yeah. inundated by this barrage of yes. skepticism from this one particular person in the meeting. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> oh my God. So congratulations. This is so exciting. I love hearing these results. And then mm-hmm. with these referrals in your attitude and your beingness and your confidence. Yes. Yes. It's inevitable. Staying focused, staying steady. The, the course, the riches are in the mm-hmm. niches. We said that I'll yep. say it again. You know, your niche, you're becoming yes. known in that niche you're, mm-hmm. you know, proficient in that you're a professional yes. and you, right. And because you mm-hmm. make money from it and you're paid yes. for it yes. and you see the momentum is building and you just, and same rules apply, yes. same rules apply, whether you land the client, right. And the business or mm-hmm. not right. go with this attitude. Most of the time, catch yourself when you're triggered back yep. into the old ways and the old paradigm and boom, this is how we stay in the zone. And right. it's inevitable that it's going to work. And not only work, can you put a price on how you feel right now? No, not at all. Honestly, I can't. Yeah. I can't we, put a price tag we, on it. You know, we can't. And we can't buy it either. We think yeah, we can, can but we can't buy this. Right. You know, in terms of thinking, we have to do the work. We have to do the training and the practice. So, right. So articulate your feelings. Either your thoughts, you know. But really, how you're feeling out of all of this, that you made the commitment, how does it, like, what, how would you describe your feelings in words, if Um, you can? Yeah. So really, so it's kind of hard to describe the feelings, but in general sense, like, so in one way, I really do feel proud of myself for my commitment to myself Mm -hmm. and for choosing to invest in myself. Mm. Um, Because I I feel like I could have easily just been like, man, I'm not going to do it. You know, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, you know, I'm not, I, at least I'm still alive, right, you know, so, so I'm, <laughs> yeah, went, <laughs> so went, my, uh-huh, yeah, went, went, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm proud of myself for um, doing that, but also I'm just, honestly, like, I'm astonished, I'm excited, like, I'm happy, I'm, I'm astonished, <laughs> like, about all this stuff, you know, I feel like it was a miracle, honestly, <laughs> like, it is a miracle, yeah. it, it is one of those things that science can't explain it in some weird way, right, doesn't it feel like that? Right. Like, I feel like if I were to tell this to somebody, like, they wouldn't believe me. <laughs> yeah, they're going to say, oh, that was a coincidence. Okay. Right. Sorry. I have way too many things happen for it to be a coincidence. And especially right. when I say I want this, this, and this, and it shows up. Right. You're like, exactly. yeah, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> but it's okay. If we have the naysayers or the skeptics, let them do their life their way. If, right. But frankly, I want to do my life this way. It's yep. funner, it's freer, but you're excited. Like I can even hear, even in your text, you can feel the excitement. Yes. I was always like, whoa, because you're like, I didn't even stutter once. But I didn't hear that. It was just read it in the text, but I could feel it, you right. know? Exactly. And that's your energy mm-hmm. right now. So, I mean, yes. this is awesome. And in that energy, do you see how you're sending out the, the highest frequency and you're getting yes. more referrals? Yes. And Absolutely. it's almost like yes. the intuitive GPS, you know, that's what kind of, mysteriously yet not you know you're like i'm starving ah this hit wendy's you know it's right here on campus you just work there but you didn't go in going oh i'm gonna go and see if they you never thought to ask me about business because it's a wendy's franchise right exactly what are the chances at first i was like wait what wendy's does he mean wendy's a franchise in your text message Right. Right. No. And then what are the chances that they're like, no, this does not fall under under the umbrella of the big franchise. Right. Exactly. That's the part that like got to me. Like I just, I'm like, what? What? You're like, no, somebody wake me up from this dream. But anyway, okay. So you as good as got this. So you just stay steady the course and I can't wait to hear, you know, and I'm, I know you'll text me, but this is so exciting. 
So thank you so yeah. much for sharing, and uh, yeah. and I really appreciate this. So, oh my God, that was just one session. I couldn't even imagine. Yeah, oh my session. God, what's on the? You know what I'm saying? It's exactly. like you just started. <laughs> Woo! Exactly. Oh my God. Imagine what else? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> But so far, so great. And all that matters is aren't you feeling just so miraculously super caring and good about yourself? Yes? Yes. Yes, You're all I like, am. okay, I'm, I'm really proud of myself. And that's yes. all that matters. Yeah? Yes. Like, it doesn't matter yeah. if anyone else is proud of you. Well, I'm very proud of you. And I live vicariously. That's why we did this. So uh, thank mm-hmm. you because it re-inspires me. Like, I'm right. ex- can you hear my voice? Well, I didn't wake up can, like that yeah. this morning. You sound very excited. I know. I'm just like, what? I'm trying to not scream into the microphone right now because I'm just like, oh, my God. Ah. <laughs> and I know it's real and I live it, but it's so nice to have someone else experience it. So, mm-hmm. you know, and I can live vicariously through that energy. So you're amazing. Right. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. And I can't yep. wait. For the next thing. Thank you all for yes, listening. Sir. I wish you all the best. Karen Lovely at Gmail. And uh, continue to dig deep. Look for what you can't see. What you don't know. You know. Mm-hmm. Is, is hidden from your view. And that's what catapults this whole thing. And has you become a prosperity magnet. Okay. Yes. Daniel, thank you. You're incredible. Thank you, Karen. You're so welcome.